paved the road for retired athletes turned radio night, hosts. Take the same Another powerful radio station in the Midwest, America. Cincinnati's WLW, uh, became a fertile breeding ground for athletes turned talkers. So the, Bob uh, Trumpy and Chris Collinsworth used popular local radio shows as a springboard to national TV slots. Like the other ex-Cincinnati players he learned from, Rose faces the hurdle of knocking down two stereotypes. What does an athlete know about being a host and what does a baseball player know about another sport? I don't think there's too many guys on TV that can take a phone call and talk to John Doe in Ten Buck Two, Texas and say, well, I know how it feels to win a World Series. I know how it feels to lose a World Series. And I would believe that that feeling is the same whether it's an NBA championship, whether it's a Stanley Cup final, or whether it's a Super Bowl. If talk radio is about unique personality, well, Pete's a natural. Only one man has more hits than anyone in baseball history and has been suspended from the game for life for gambling and has spent five months in prison for tax evasion. Well, what's up, Bill? Hey, is that Paducah, Kentucky? Yes, sir. A little, little small town fun, but... Uh, you yeah, that's close to Marion, that. Illinois. Excuse me? I think Paducah is close to Marion, Illinois. You're... We're about, uh, yeah, you were, I think you stayed there a little while. Yeah, I lived there for five months. I was a resident of Illinois for five months. Okay. And I don't want to talk about that. There's not too many guys, and you, you, you agree with this, who have been through what I've been through and can talk about it. I mean, Mike Tyson can talk about some things I can talk about, mm -hmm. and so uh, some other guys can talk about things I can talk about it, but most of the things that I talk about, and there are certain things you don't like to talk about, but you have to address them if the, if the topic comes up, that you can talk from experience. Rose's near quarter century as a big league player and on-field style led to friendships beyond baseball with people like Bobby Knight. Invariably, those friends become Pete's radio guests, creating a dilemma that all players turned host to face. Do they avoid asking a friend the tough or uncomfortable question? I don't think so, because uh, I'm going to attack him or her from a fair angle. Uh, I'm going to give him or her benefit of the doubt. Don't blame Mace Baseball because Daryl Strawberry did not get a prison sentence. And if, if you want to know my beliefs on that, uh, I wouldn't wish anybody uh, be, to be sent away for a month, a day, an hour. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just hoping as a, as a baseball fan that Daryl Strawberry understands that he got a huge break and he takes advantage of the huge break. Life is too damn short to be screaming and hanging up with people and calling them names and stuff like that. I mean, radio business, it's not the WWF. I mean, radio is entertainment. People are sitting in their living rooms or sitting at, uh, in, in traffic. They want to laugh. Are you a talk show host or are you Pete Rose talking sports with listeners and athletes? Uh, I'm a talk show host because uh, I treat all my callers like they're very special, which they are, because... Uh, uh, the show is predicated on the callers, and the callers make the show. And you need callers, just like I'm in the restaurant business. I need people to come in the door to eat. Now Rose, once compared to Cobb, Aaron, and Musial, compares himself to heavy hitters in his new medium. Take G. Gordon Liddy, take uh, Rush Limbaugh, take Larry King. They're all three one thing. They're consistent. And I'm, I'm consistent in this business, just like I think I was the most consistent baseball player ever. I didn't always have a good year, but I never had a bad year. And I think I don't always have good shows, but we try to put it. I want to have the best talk show in the country. My name is Pete Rose. Thanks to you, the listening audience, and thanks to you, the callers. Until tomorrow night, have a great one on the Sports Fan Radio Network. A story about Mickey Mantle going to the top of the list on a liver. We can get on and give our opinion. You know, I think that Mickey Mantle will go right to the top of the list. Now, what have I done to, to substantiate that besides interview myself for 10 seconds? Nothing. When Outside the Lines continues, how this new breed of sports talk has changed the rules on covering breaking stories. At Havines Dodge here in Louisville, our service department operates on a team system. This means faster and better service for you, a more personalized and friendly relationship with a team manager, a master technician and his team members assigned to your car for the life of your car, and you can be confident that our service department will fix your car right the first time. At a fair and reasonable price at Havines Dodge in Louisville. Kevin! 
Hey, it looks like you and the adding machine had a fight and you lost. Come on, the bus is waiting. We gotta go. The Paragon now offers a $20 credit to customers if we're late for a scheduled service call and if we're late for a scheduled installation. The installation is free. I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna pay for all this without losing our shirts. Last year, Paragon was late less than 1% of the time. We provide excellent cable service, and now our best just got better. So come on, lunch is on the bus, and we can't be late. Paragon Cable, your best choice. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed about winning the Stanley Cup. But I also had this dream well, this gorgeous blonde from space, and she came down, and all she really wanted to do was... Cut! Cut! What? Uh, let, let's, let's stick with the hockey dream for now, Darren. Sports radio can be opinionated and volatile, but above all, sports radio is immediate. And that immediacy has changed how all media covers breaking stories. As Shelley Smith reports, it's also affected the relationship between the established media and sports radio, the new kid on the block. KJR Radio in Seattle reports that Carl will return. The team would not confirm this. You go to bed at night in the newspaper business not knowing if what you wrote is still timely eight hours later when people are reading it. Here you know it because it's instantaneous. Michael Moore was the heavyweight champ. Tonight, he for now is out of the sport. Moore telling WJR Radio in Detroit last night that he's not going to fight again. What you do in the newspaper business is you react. You don't pretend like you broke the story, but you take it two or three steps further. New York radio station WFAN cited unidentified sources today claiming that Keenan's messy exit from the Rangers coaching job was the result of a conspiracy. Sports Talk Radio has been able to sort of be the first medium to deal with the actual how, why, what of the event. Sports news stories are not only broken and reported on talk radio, they are used as material for sports talk hosts on shows which run for hours. This uneasy partnership of news and entertainment can cause friction in the media community of a city. It's a terrible thing, but it's the way the world works, and I'm going to tell you right now, Mickey Mantle, my hero, he's going to have a liver in a couple of weeks. I guarantee it. And, and then you call me and tell me how it's fair. Because it is not done. The people with the status and the money are the people that get what they want in everything they do in the world. I have no way of knowing what might the truth really be in this. The doctors are in insisting that the reason he was moved up on the list is because of his condition. While the newspaper reports on Mantle were dated by the time they hit the stands, WIP's overnight show had not only confirmed reports that a donor had been found for Mantle, but it started analyzing the situation. Well, that's the advantage they have, is that we, we come out once a day and they, they have immediacy. I, I, I am delighted that Mickey is, as we speak right now, apparently in the operating room, getting the new liver, even as we speak. And I hope he lives to be 200. But something just doesn't feel right about it. Sports talk radio not only has immediacy, it has opinions, often outrageous ones. WIP host Angelo Cataldi, a former investigative reporter for the Philadelphia Inquirer, and his partner Al Morganti have adapted well to the looser world of radio. While Mantle was undergoing surgery, they debated the ethics of his situation. Mickey Mantle get the liver overnight. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hey, I gotta tell you, Mike, I took some heat for that, but this is the way the world works. And Mickey got, please understand, Mickey Mantle was my hero. I love the man. I, I worshipped everything he did when he played, right? But I knew, and you knew, if you think about it, this guy that means so much to people, they're not going to put him on the top of the list. Besides WIP, one other station in Philadelphia has a sports talk show. On the afternoon show at WGMP, Stan Hockman, a Philadelphia Daily News reporter who occasionally hosts a radio show, took a more reverent approach to Mantle, a player he once covered. Sat there and semicircle of writers would form around but you you had to give him room because he had to stretch out those aching legs and and the ice would melt and form small puddles it's a compelling story from so many levels the true baseball fan who knows Mantle's place as a hall of famer in the game and then the other aspect the ethical moral aspect of Mantle moving to the top of the list for a transplant uh, creates all sorts of debate and, and lively discussion but that need for debate and lively discussion can play havoc with such traditional journalistic principles 
as fact-checking and balanced reporting. We can get on and give our opinion. You know, I think that Mickey Mantle will go right to the top of the list. Now, what have I done to, to substantiate that besides interview myself for 10 seconds? Nothing. Now, if I work for a newspaper and I still write three columns a week for a newspaper, well, I have to go check with all the authorities, get all the, get all the background, get one side, get the other side. The worst thing that happens to a reporter in any field, if the reporter gets to be a celebrity himself and becomes an entertainment person, and that then isn't going to tell you much about the sport. It's going to tell you about the, about the performer. And that, that cheapens the whole process. So it's bad journalism that's commentating, but you don't find out what's going on. Are you a sellout? In a way, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm not going to tell you that I didn't leave newspapers to come where the money was better and the freedom was greater. There is a lot of controversy about it, Mark. The Between WIP and WGMP talk shows, a sports fan could have heard hours of discussion on the story before WPVI's local evening newscast and before the Inquirer was put to bed. Both outlets insist that the extensive coverage on talk radio does not play a major role in their news gathering efforts and defend the validity of their medium in this multimedia world. Well, we just do our own thing. Uh and we don't really concern ourselves with what anybody else does. What we can do is uh, give people the ability to see uh, Mickey Mantle when he was a player, when he was in action, what he looked like a year ago, uh, the last time he was in Atlantic City. We have video of that. We're able to bring uh, resources from the national desk, uh, from the national staff, from the sports staff. We have a columnist uh, doing a column for tomorrow. Uh, the national desk is uh, uh, doing stories. We have one of our medical writers doing something so, uh, you know, if, if you want content, we have content. Uh, you know, if you want volume, you listen to the radio and you get volume. I did, I did this for 18 years, so I was on that side of it. So they kind of teach you how to look at a story maybe before somebody else can see the full form of the story and, and get in with it. And we can do that. Once in a great while, we'll surprise people by actually being, you know, ahead of the competition. Uh, the Inquirer has been on your doorstep every day since... Horses were pulling carriages around the streets of Philadelphia. Long after WIP is, you know, playing golden oldies again, the Inquirer is still going to be on your doorstep. Sports radio may be peaking. Radio is traditionally a business of cycles, and sports talk radio is running full bore. There's also no guarantee that stations can make more money with this format. Some stations, like WIP in Philly, feature now not so much sports talk as guy talk. Opinions and controversy have always been a big part of sports, always have, always will. What we'll be curious to see now is if the opinions and controversies that shape sports for the next few years are reported by Sports Talk Radio or are because of it. I'm an inventor of one of the world's strongest fibers, Kevlar. I started the work in 1964. It proved to be a time of great joy, of frustration. We called it Fiber B. Kevlar is five times as strong as steel. It's used in ski, racing, in boats, helmet, golf, tennis clubs, rackets, bullet resistant vests. I'm still working for DuPont. Every day is a new learning experience. Toyota T100 Extra Cab. Its new 190 horsepower V6 actually outperforms V8s. It's big and spacious, yet amazingly maneuverable. And it's extremely rugged, yet incredibly refined. The new T100 Extra Cab. It's the Toyota of big trucks. What a night! The Burger King opening night party for Disney's Pocahontas. Now in theaters. What'd you think? I love it. Non-stop action. Excellent adventure. Only Pocahontas has it all. Only Burger King lets your kids relive the magic of Pocahontas with these eight action toys. They get one with each Pocahontas Kids Club hamburger meal for just $1.99. Personally, I found Percy's performance especially moving. Burger King, get your burgers worth. <laughs> I've always wanted to race cars, it's always been the thing that I was going to do. I love speed, I love being on an edge and trying to control that edge and you get all...